Hello and welcome to Project Breakout. I'm Kevin Lindemuth and I'll be teaching you about what equipment you will need to make a low budget movie. With your camera, it doesn't matter what brand of camera you have, but what does matter is that you need a digital camera and make sure it's a three chip digital camera. And this is probably going to be a mini DV camera. So just make sure also that the controls on it can be manual and don't rely too much on your auto functions. In terms of audio, even though you have a camera mic on your camera, you don't want to be using it too much, especially with scenes with actors. So what you want to do is basically have another microphone that's plugged into your camera. So it's an external microphone. And usually what this is going to be is a directional boom mic. And this is a microphone that's going to be on a pole. Usually somebody you know hangs on to it and directs it towards who's ever talking. Um, and it's their job to get as clear, you know, audio as possible. So, you know, they're listening out for like, you know, an ambulance in the background or a plane flying overhead. And then usually you'll do those scenes over again to get the clear audio. But you want to make sure that when you're recording audio with actors, you want to get as clear as possible and you want to get it right while you're shooting it. You don't want to, you know, be shooting it and say, oh, gee, we'll just fix it in post later. Because there is like no program that will take out beeps or ambulance in the background or whatever. It doesn't exist. So you're going to have to redub it. And that means getting in the actors, you know, months after you're shooting. And that's a huge hassle. Another option is using wireless microphones, um, you know, like the one I'm wearing. Um, but you have to hide the microphone because, you know, somebody wouldn't normally have a microphone on them, um, you know, in a scene. So that's another option as well. I would recommend also get a good tripod. Um, if you're shooting a lot of scenes, you know, make sure you're on the tripod so it's steady. I mean, if you're not all that familiar with handheld shots, you know, there's nothing worse than seeing a movie and it's all shaky and it's not supposed to be shaky. So, you know, a tripod definitely helps. With lights, I would say you need a minimum of at least three lights um, that are directional with, you know, barn doors on them. So you could actually adjust the lighting and, you know, be pretty specific with what you're lighting. And, you know, this could be anything. A lot of different companies make a lot of different stuff. I personally use a Lowell Omni kit. It has, you know, three lights in it. Um, a lot of times I'm only using two of them. Um, and sometimes, you know, I'll get extra lights and have, you know, a dozen lights. It just kind of depends on our circumstance, what kind of mood I'm going for. Because, you know, with these digital cameras, you could kind of shoot these like film. I mean, you could have, you know, where it's like totally dark except for like you know, the person's eye or, you know, they're, they come out of the shadows. Um, you know, be creative. Be creative with your lighting. Be creative with your camera work. Then there's editing. And nowadays there's a lot of, you know, computer edit systems like Final Cut Pro, Avid, uh, Media 100, you know, whatever you're using doesn't really matter if it's top of the line or whatever. Just make sure that it maintains the quality of your footage because you don't want to like shoot all this stuff that looks great, put it in your edit system and it just, you know, looks half as good. So just make sure that it's maintaining the digital quality. And again, you know, these things range in price. So just, you know, basically get what you could afford to get because, you know, with the next production, you could always get something, you know, more expensive or better or whatever. So the camera, the audio, the lights, and the editing are the four things that you need in order to make a production. Thanks for watching. I'm Kevin Lindemuth on behalf of Project Breakout. Tune in again for more career advancing advice.